comes forth towards Donald Trump. I want Ms. Dr. Ben Carson to come, his lovely wife to come. I want the men of God here, Pastor Frank, the media, Dr. J.C. Church, to lay hands on him, and she's going to pray. And I want you to stretch forth your hands, and I really want you to intercede on his behalf. Years ago, years ago, when we first met him and he was considering running for president, there was a great preacher there, and I don't want to say his name, but he is nationally known. And he said something to you, I don't know if you remember. He said, I want you to understand, Mr. Trump, that if you choose to run for president, there's going to be a concentrated, satanic attack against you. He said this over, over five years ago. He said, he said there's going to be a demon. Principalities and powers are going to war against you on a level that you've never seen before. And I'm watching this every day. So we're going to pray for him. I want to first take this opportunity to thank Cleveland, Ohio. I want to thank all of the media that came out. I want to thank all of you men and women of God that came out. I want to thank all the leaders that came out. I want to thank all of you that took time out of your day. I remember when we won the championship and uh, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers won and they kept saying there's going to be mess going on. There's going to be stuff going on. Cleveland is just a different place. We know how to conduct ourselves in Cleveland and we represent very well. This is a monumental day. I had the pleasure of, I'm, 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 I'm different from my husband in so many ways, more than just gender, um, uh, you know, there's so much different. I am very sensitive about who I meet and who I get to know. I'm just that kind of a person, not because I'm funny, but because I'm just, I'm sensitive. And, and when I first met Mr. Trump, he walked through the doors of Trump Towers and I thought, oh my, that's, that's a very tall man. And, and I said, as he walked in, he immediately bowed his head. And I, 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 my husband will tell you and anyone, all our leadership, thank you ministers of New Spirit Revival Center. I, you guys know that I pay attention to the details. I can't help it. I just walk into the room, pay attention to details. He immediately dropped his head and he recognized that he was in the room with clergy. Mr. Trump has a reverence from, for clergy that I've never seen before in my 58 years, 50, wait, 59 years of my life. I know it's hard for you all to believe that the man that they show in the media is different. I'm here to tell you, this is a different man. This is a unique man. This is a leader. This is a person that will be great for our nation. This is a person that will be black for, good for black Americans. This is a person that will be good for black women, all right? This was a person that will be good for our nation. And most of all, my concern, whether you know me or not, this is a person that will be good for our military. This is a person that's going to make our nation safe, our country safe. We don't want a nation that we walk down the street and bombings will be happening every time. We don't want to be shot at for no reason. We want to visit our malls, go to our synagogues, go to our churches. I feel like preaching this morning. I want to be free in our nation. And I believe that Mr. Donald J. Trump will honor that freedom. And if y'all here know that the spirit of the Lord is real, let's just let out a praise, not for the man but for the God that we serve come on y'all can do so much better than that we are Americans and we deserve to be free we can buy where we want to buy do what we want to do be great if we want to be great and I think Mr. Donald J. Trump will do that and no I didn't write this down because I can't follow the lines like they do but I'm telling you excuse me sweetie I know I went there but I you shouldn't have gave me the mic I appreciate this man. I really appreciate Michael Cohen. I appreciate him. I didn't think God could create anybody like Daryl Scott, but I promise you, Michael Cohen and Mr. Trump are like Daryl Scott. I know y'all take the good parts. All right. I know, I know the media went there on me. Don't go there on me. But I love this man. I thank you, sir. You didn't have to. Governor Pence, you and your wife, you guys didn't, ben, Dr. Carson, you all, Marose, all you didn't have to, Dr. Church, you all did not have to make this sacrifice to come front and center of leadership. It is a difficult place. How many pastors are here today? How many of you know leadership is difficult? 
And so we need someone that is honored, that will honor our beliefs and our faith and our feelings. And I really know for a fact that Mr. Donald J. Trump will do that. He's a family man. He's a businessman. He's got tremendous stamina. I don't know anybody that could get up on a plane and do all this stuff. He has three more meetings today. I appreciate this man. One more time, thank him for coming to Cleveland. Because this wasn't on the schedule. Let's stretch our hands right now. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus that you raise up a man for such a time as this. God, we ask you right now that your choice is this choice. We believe, Lord God, that you ordain things. You said all authority is of you. Now, God, I ask that you would touch this man, Donald J. Trump. Give him the anointing to lead this nation. We thank you, God, that as a room full of clergy, a room full of leaders, a room full of business owners, mothers, wives, husbands, fathers, we ask for help. And we ask you, God, to let that help be in the form of the next president, Mr. Donald J. Trump. We ask you, God, to bless him, keep him safe, give him the wisdom and the strength to lead this great nation. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank y'all so much for letting me go a little bit longer. God bless y'all.